Okay, so madilim na gabi sa inyong lahat. Ha? So ngayon po, ang ating pong gagawin ay kung paano mag-grab ng linear equation in two variables sa ating rectangular coordinate system. Okay? So before we proceed to our lesson, so let us subscribe, like, and share our video. Okay, so grouping linear equation into variables. So after going through this lesson, you are expected to write the linear equation ax plus by equals c. O ito yung tinatawag nating standard form of linear equation. In the form of y is equal to mx plus b. At ito naman yung tinatawag nating slope intercept form and vice versa. And graph a linear equation given any two points, the x and y intercepts and the slope and the point on the line. So let us recall the properties of equality that will help you to solve linear equations into variables, among which are the addition of property of equality or APE and multiplication property of equality or MPE. So for example, change y minus x equals 4 to slope intercept form. Determine the slope and the y intercept. So here is the solution. y minus x equals 4. So using the APE or addition property of equality, so let us add both sides of the equation by x. So therefore, we can cancel now negative x. So y is equal to x plus 4. So on the other side. So therefore, this slope is the coefficient of variable x. Therefore, m is equal to 1. And the y-intercept is the constant b, which is equals 4. Okay? So, number 2, change 2x plus 3y equals 9 to, to slope intercept form. So find the slope and the y-intercept. Solution. So 2x plus 3y equals 9. So apply the APE by subtracting 2x to both sides of the equation. So therefore, we have now 2x minus 2x on this side. So matitira na lamang po ay 3y. And then on the other side, it will become my negative 2x plus 9. So, yun po siya. So, therefore, apply the MPE or multiply both sides by one third, which is the numerical coefficient of y. Okay? So, we can cancel now 3. So, therefore, we have y is equal to one third times negative 2 is negative two third. So, negative two third x plus 3. So therefore, this slope m is negative 2 third and the y-intercept is b is 3. So to convert from ax plus by plus c equals 0 to y equals mx plus b, we need only to solve for y in terms of x. Okay? So here is our learning task 1. So, change the given equation into slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b, and determine the slope and the y-intercept. So, I will give you another example for this. Okay? So, for example, class, we have sample number 1. Let's say 3y plus 5x is equal to 7. Okay, so therefore, or let's say 27, okay, so 3y plus 5x equals 27. So, let us uh, uh, subtract both sides by negative uh, 5x. So, we have now 3y plus 5x minus 
5x. Okay? So, kung ano yung ginawa natin sa side nito, dapat yun din ang gagawin natin sa kabilang side. So, negative 5x plus 27. Okay? Nagdagdag tayo dito sa kabilang side ng negative 5x. Ganon din sa other side. Okay? So, it should be fair to the other side. So, okay, therefore, we can cancel now 5x. That will become 0. Diba? So, cancel na yon. So, ano na lang matitira dito sa side na to? So, 3y. 3y is equal to negative 5x plus 27. Okay? And then, multiply both sides by 1 third. Okay? Therefore, we can cancel now 1 third and 3. Nalis na po yung numerical coefficient na 3. So, y is equal to, it will become now negative 5 over 3x, which is negative 5 times 1 third is negative 5 third. Plus, 27 times 1 third, and that is 1 third of 27, which is 9. So, therefore, ito yun na yung ating slope-intercept form in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. So, therefore, m is equal to, ano yung numerical coefficient ng m? So, negative 5 over 3. And then, what is the value of b? The value of b is 9. So, that is 9. Or, ang kanyang coordinates ay 0, 9 which is the y-intercept. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng x ay 0 and the value of y is 9. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya kadali. Now, so, let us proceed to our uh, lesson. Okay? So, yun lang po yung ating para sa learning task 1. So, this time, let us grab a linear equation in two variables. Okay. So, given any two points, use the two points wherein like, for example, 5, 0 and 0, 1 and find the slope of the line containing the given two points. So, ito po ay pinag-aralan na natin dati kung paano kunin ang slope of the line given two points. So, madali na po siya na ha. Then later on, magbibigay tayo ng another example for this. We have also given the x and y intercept. As I told you that if we have the x intercept, the point is x0. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng y ay 0. Where the line crosses the x-axis. And the y-intercept, the point uh, is 0y. Ibig sabihin na ang value ng x ay 0 where the line crosses the y-axis. So, to graph a line using this method, find the x-intercept by letting y is equal to 0 and solving for x. And find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0 and solving for y. Then, plot both intercepts on the graph and connect with the straight line as you can see in our illustration. Okay? And then, the slope M and the point on the line. So, to graph it, it so plot the given point and generate additional points on the line by starting at the given point x, y, and moving the rise and the run of the slope. So, for example, we have a point negative 3 over 2. Divide to yung negative 3, negative 2. Ito yun. And the slope is 2, 1. Positive siya. Ano? So, therefore, 2 over 1 yon. Rise over run. So, rise muna tayo ng dalawang unit. So, we have 1, 2. And then, run ng isa. So, ibig sabihin na ang isang point natin ay nasa 0, negative, or negative 2, 0. Nasa x-axis. Oh. 
Stream lang po siya. And then, so for learning task 2, so let us uh, uh, proceed first to our additional examples. Okay? So here is our uh, rectangular coordinate system. So we have uh, given here two points. So negative 4, 2, negative 3, 5. So this is the first point and this is the second point. So magpaplat ipaplat po natin yung given points. So we have negative 4 2 ibig sabihin from the origin we have 1 2 3 4. Okay? So ito yung negative 4 2, a uh, negative 4. And then bababa tayo ng dalawa. We have 1, 2. So, ito po yung point na 4, negative 4, 2. And then, the second point is negative 3, 5. So, we have 1, 2, 3. And then, aakyat tayo ng 5. Kasi positive siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito yung ating second point. And then, i-coconnect po natin siya. Okay. So assuming this is a, a straight line. Yan. So ito na po yung ating linear equation. Okay? Another example. Let's say we have negative 1 and 3. We have from the origin negative 1 so dito pa rin siya going to the left. And then aakyat tayo ng 3 units. So we have 1, 2, 3. So, ito po yung ating negative 1 and 3. And then, ito naman pong 2 and negative 6. So, positive 2 siya, ba? So, 1, 2. And then, bababa tayo ng 6 na unit kasi negative naman yung ating y. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ito yung ating second point. And then, connect the point once again. Okay. Assuming this is a straight line. Okay. So, nilalagyan natin siya ng arrow. Ibig sabihin, siya ay continuous pa rin. Na. So, therefore, this is now our graph of this uh, linear equation. So, mapapansin ninyo, siya naman ay pababa kasi negative yung ating slope of the line. Next example. We have 7, 4. Saan matatagpuan ng 7, 4? Positive, positive. Siya po ay nasa quadrant 1. So, from the origin, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ito yun. Ano? And then, positive 4. 1, 2, 3, so, ito po yun. Okay? So, atin mo nang burahin itong... Yan. Hindi siya nakakalito. And then, 4, 8. Siya ay nasa first quadrant din. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, akya tayo ng 8 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, yun. And then, connect the two points. Yan. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya ka dali. So, given any two points. Okay? In the linear equation, uh, linear equation in two variables. Okay? Let us have, uh, proceed to the next. This time, ang given natin, ito ang tinatawag nating y-intercept at ito naman yung x-intercept. Kasi kaya siya y-intercept, ang value ng x ay 0. Ito naman yung x-intercept kasi ang value ng y ay 0. So, the first point, negative 3. So, ibig sabihin siya ay, ito yung origin natin. So, we have 1, 2, 3. So, ito yung ating point na which is the y-intercept, 0, negative 3. 
And then 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito lang po siya. And that is the x-intercept. Then, connect the points. Alright. So, ito na po yung ating graph ng linear equation. Okay. So, di po ba? Napakasimple lang niya. Next example. Let's say we have 2, 0, and 0, 8. 2, 0, that is x-intercept. Okay. So, we have 1, 2. Ito po siya, di ba? And then, 0, 8. Siya ay sa y-axis positive. Ano? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, dito siya sa pinakadulo. Aha. So, ito yan. And then, connect the points. Mm, yun. Yan. So, yun na po yung ating graph ng linear equation given these uh, two points. The x-intercept and the y-intercept. Okay? Another one. This time, x-intercept daw ay negative 1. So, dito siya, di ba? And the y-intercept is positive 4. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, dito siya. Then, connect the points. So, yan. Ito po yung ating linear equation. Okay. Another one. This time, ang given naman po natin ay the slope and the this point. So, passing through this point, negative 1, 1. And given this slope, so we can get another point. Okay. So, for example, ipaplot po muna natin ay itong point na negative 1, 1. So, so nga po siya. So, negative 1, dito siya. And then, positive 1, ito. Okay. So, ito po yung isang point. To get the second point, ah, di ba ang ating ano ay rise, rise over run. Okay? So, rise over run. So, ibig sabihin, ang rise natin ay 4 units. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, ang run natin ay 1 unit. So, dito siya. Okay? So, ito yung ating second point. Then, connect the points. Yan. So, ito na po yung ating graph ng linear equation. So, di po ba napakadali? Ipaplot muna natin yung isang point. Okay? Then, to, to get the second point, okay, the other point, Use the concept of the slope of the line rise over run. Another example. We have a line passing through 2, negative 2. So, 2, 1, 2. Negative 2, ibig sabihin sa baba, 1, 2. So, ito po yung ating first point. Then, to get the second point, so 5 over 6 daw. So, we have positive pa rin, ano? So, positive siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, run tayo ng 6 units. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Bakit po pa na ng ating lakad? Kasi po siya ay positive. Okay? Then, connect the two points. Mm -hmm. So, ito na po yung ating graph of this linear equation. Okay? Another example. So, this is the last example. So, a line passing through negative 2, 3. So, we have 1, 2, 2. Ano? Negative 2, 3. And then, pataas. 1, 2, 3. So, ito po siya. Diba? And then, ang ating pong rise ay 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, siya ay pupuntang kaliwa kasi siya ay negative. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dito po yung ating second point. 
So, kumapal sa inyo, pababa yung ating graph, yung ating linya. Kasi, negative yung ating slope of the line. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya. Kadali, mag-graph ng linear equation. Okay? So, let us uh, proceed, uh, continue our learning task. Okay, so yun po yung ating gagawin sa ating learning task 2. So, learning task 2 naman po natin ay, so kagaya ng ating learning task 1, so write the linear equation AX plus BY equals C in the form of Y is equal to MX plus B. Then, vice versa naman po dun sa set B. Okay? Then, for learning task 3, so ito na po yung ginawa natin. So, using two points, using the intercepts, and using the slope and the point. So, atin lang pong igagrap ang linear equation for learning task 3. And then, for learning task 4, so for ex this time, problem solving naman po siya. So, read and analyze the problem carefully. Then, do what is asked below. So, yun lang po. So, this time, mag-grap, using graphing din po siya. Okay? So, for example, Ruby is tracking the progress of her plant's group. Today, the plant is 5 cm high. Then, the plant grows 2 cm per day. Okay? So, the, you will going to write a linear model that represent the height of the plant X for days. Ano? And then, what will be the height of the plant B after 20 days? So, after 20 days, kung siya ay 2 cm per day, after 40 days, ano na kaya yung height ng plant? Then, graph the number of days against the growth of the plants. So, yun po yung ating application ng graphing of linear equation into variables. Okay? So, dito na po nagtatapos ang ating lesson. So, thank you and God bless. Okay? So, hanggang sa muli. So, mag-aral ng mabuti. Alamin ang mga bagay-bagay na makakatulong sa ating sariling uh, para maang ating kakayahan ay magpatuloy, magpusbong. Ano? So, hanggang sa muli. Maraming salamat.